So now what we're going to do is we're going to connect the driving unit to the mock loop. So we have a total artificial heart connected to this mock loop, which is designed to imitate the natural pressures of the body, which we'll, we'll talk about. So the sound that you're hearing now is the opening and closing of the metal valves. So as we talked about when we looked at uh, blood flow in series of the ins and the outs and going into the valves and out of the valves, that's exactly what you're hearing here. So what is the mock loop? How does it work? Again, it does represent uh, pressures of the natural human body so that while we're in the laboratory, we can create certain scenarios uh, that we might see uh, on a patient so that we can train and know how to facilitate those. Uh, so what you're looking at here with the mock loop is we'll start with the right atrial pressure. So the water level here gives us a, a pressure which is equal to uh, a right atrial pressure that you would see in the human body. This, this reservoir then has an inflow that comes into the device. The device then pumps an outflow which goes out to the pulmonary artery, the PAP. This reservoir is a pressure which is equivalent to the body. And you may not be able to see it, but this, there's a small tube here, and this small tube would represent the lungs. So the pulmonary artery to the lungs, which then goes into the left atrium, again, which is, has a pressure, left atrial pressure, which is similar to our body. And that then, flows in to the device, so we have an inflow to the left side, it pumps and now there's an outflow and that outflow then is the aorta, goes out and again that pressure is similar and then there's a tube that goes through to the, which represents the body, to the body back into the right atrial pressure thus completing the loop that we were talking about.